Hmm, is it gonna work? Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope everyone is um, having a good Monday morning and that you had a great weekend. We are back for our um, the beginning of our third week of at-home learning. And welcome into morning meeting. Um, I'm trying Facebook's new live streaming producer, so hopefully it will work um, well. Oh, look, it looks like I can see, oh dear. I can see that Declan is here. Good morning, Declan. I think maybe Eric is watching. So I have comments that pop up on the side. Um, I'm probably going to try and transition from our Facebook morning meetings. Oh, yay, Cece's here. Um, to a different format so that it's equitable for everybody and people who aren't on Facebook are able to participate as well. More from that, more about that um, later today, I have to figure it out. If anyone has any suggestions, I would be happy to hear them. Um, hi, Tessa. I'm happy to see everybody is joining. Hi, Olivia. Good morning. Welcome to Monday. I have my new Monday shirt on. I'm going to stand up and show you. You ready? Good morning. Oh, good morning, Adeline. It says Monday. I wonder if anyone wanted to sleep late and have an extra cup of coffee this morning. I always like to sleep late and have an extra cup of coffee. But now I'm drinking my breakfast drink and we are going to get started. So let's start with a song. How about we start with a beautiful day and a beautiful day you guys know is a jack hartman song and this is a song that the kids love we um have played this song and um, enjoyed this song almost almost every day most days we enjoy it and as soon as i find it i'm going to play it for us and maybe it will um convince mother nature to let the sun shine. Let's see. Taking me just a minute to pull it up. From my library. Here we go. So thanks to Jack Hartman for um, creating this song and sharing this song with all of us. And here we go. Rise up, children. Maybe you could um, do this song with your family at home and do some of the actions for them. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, Harry and George. Swing and swing. It's a wonderful world and a beautiful day. 
beautiful day. Feel the love, mommies are playing. Sweet. So rise up, children, celebrate. It's a wonderful world and a beautiful so families just in case you haven't been in when we have enjoyed that song we sing it loud and proud especially the last verse and my friend mrs daughter down the hall will often tell me that she can hear us singing and when she hears us singing that song it makes her very happy so moving right along Let's look at our agenda. So we have already arrived. We're in morning meeting. Next, we'll have creative time. Read aloud and writing. Lunch. Listen to reading and chores. Drawing and quiet time. Math. Good morning, Kaylin. And Zoom fun with friends. Now, today we're trying something new. Every day it seems like I'm learning something new with technology. I'm going to need to change this because instead of Zoom fun with friends, we're gonna try a Google Meet fun with friends. And I've sent out an invitation to all the families and it's a link just like the Zoom, but it's um, a platform that we use in Plymouth and our tech technology um, specialists are suggesting that we switch to that platform. So I hope it is as fun as um, the Zoom, I'm sure it is. So now that we've arrived, we're beginning morning meeting, let's look at our morning message. Are your pointer fingers ready? All right, I'm gonna point to my message. You guys point to your message on your screen if you can. Hello, friends. Today is Monday. March 29th, 2020. We would go to gym today. The word part of the day is, ooh, does anyone know what that word part says? I bet you do. Remember, this is a part that we've practiced before. Our word part of the day is in. And to make it a little more exciting this week, I'm going to do a different word part every day. So we're not doing the same, um, the same word part every day. I thought that might be a little different and fun. The words of the week are look, hear, this, and, and two. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Now... Our next job is to practice our words for our word part. Are you ready for this? So, does anyone have a prediction? We'll do, how about we do six sounds and then we'll see who wins, alien or real words. And then you know what we're gonna do, just for the fun of it, we're gonna add a magic E at the end and we'll try out all those letters again and see if the same um, category wins again. I don't know, we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. This should be fun. All right, here we go. So, here's our word part, in. I'm gonna take the first letter. Ooh, huh, huh, in, hin. Real word or alien word? That is an alien word. Here we go. Ooh. Ready? That upside down. That Z looks kind of funny. Z, in, zin. Real word or alien word? That's an alien word too. We'll put it right down here. Ooh, here we go. In. Finn, I like how we're all practicing our blending, putting our words together. In, Finn. Finn is a real word. I watched Finding Nemo last night and there were lots of fins in Finding Nemo because it's all about fish. Hmm. Qua, 
in Quinn. What do you think? Real word or alien word? It could be a real word. It could be someone's name. Nicholas has a good friend named Quinn. My Nina has a good friend named Quinn too. So we're going to say real word. Duh. In. Din. Did you know that din is a real word? Din means noise. Din. There was a din in the room. I'm going to put real word down here. One more letter. I'm closing my eyes so I don't see. Pick a random letter. Ready? M in min. We're going to have a tie, you guys. Min is an alien word. All right, so who remembers what happens? So we have a tie. Harry, I'm going to count on you to remember that we have a tie to start. Who remembers what happens when we add the E at the end? That magic E. Do you remember? When you have a CVC word and there's a magic E at the end, it makes that vowel in the middle say its name. It's very bossy. It's a bossy E. So when you see I-N-E, we're going to say ein. Ein. All right, are we ready to see what side wins, real or alien, for the, for the word part ein? I'm going to bring them all down in the middle here. Ready? Qua ein. Quine. Mm, that's an that's an alien word. Ready? I'm fine. I'm feeling fine today. Fine is a real word. Hmm. Huh. Ein. Hein. Hein. If this was a mm, no, even that nope. That's an alien word. Hein. Ready? Duh. Ein. Dine. We are dining at our kitchen table today. That's a real word. Dine. M. Ein. Mine. Mine. That's a real word. Like, this tray is mine from the dollar store. Now, z, ein, sein. No, sein is not a real word. What happened? Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Another tie. Well, you'll have to tune in tomorrow for the next word part and the next competition of real words versus alien words. All right, we'll put that right down. Now we're going to move right along and we are going to practice our word of the day. Did you notice which word is underlined? Let's look carefully. Oh, I just used it in a sentence. Oh my goodness. Point to that first word. Our first step in learning our words is to use our eyes and read the word. So I'm going to read it for us. It says, look. Look is our word for today. The next step is to notice something about that word. Let's study it. Does anyone notice anything special about that word? Hmm. I'm going to look carefully at it and see what I notice. Well, I notice that there's one letter that's in my name. I wonder if you have any of those letters in your name. Hmm. I also notice that it has an interesting shape. There are two tall letters at the end and then two short letters in the middle. Did you guys notice that? There are no hanging letters. I bet Josh noticed the pattern. It's a consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant word, isn't it? Yes, it is. And there's a vowel pair in the middle, O-O. Uh, it says, uh, oh, oh, sometimes says, uh, sometimes it says, ooh, it depends on the word. Today it says, uh. All right, so we've noticed a lot about that word, look. Now we're going to do what we do every time we practice a word. We're going to 
spell it. And when we spell it, we tap it out, right? Because when we tap it out, we're feeling, we're speaking, and we're hearing, we're seeing. So we're doing all of those different things with our brain, right? All of those parts in our brain are working. So that's why we do this. So everybody put your arms up and practice. L O O K look. L O O K look. L O O K look. Now, on the arm because we don't want to be crooked. L O O K look. L O O K look. L O O K look. Nice. All right. So the next step is to skywrite this word. This is a fun one to skywrite, I think, anyway. So I'm going to get my skywriter up. Maybe you're writing on paper. Maybe you're writing in the sky. Maybe you're using a marker. Maybe you're writing in sand. I don't know. I hope you're doing something fun. Or you're just writing in the sky like me. L O O K look. L O O K look. L O O K look. Did you know that it's important to be able to not only read the words, but also to be able to spell them? So that's something that when you're ready, you could practice that too. Your mom or dad or your brother or your sister or a friend could say the word out loud and you could practice spelling it. It's a little tricky, but it's something new to learn, something new to practice. All right, so now we are going to move on to calendar. My favorite marker is still missing, you guys. I'm really kind of bummed out about it. But I have a different black marker to put to work. So I am going to check off the weekend days. So I'm going to check off Saturday. Saturday was the 28th. And I'm going to check off Sunday. Sunday was the 29th. And I'm going to check off today. Today is the 30th. Oh, did I put the wrong date in our, in our message? Oh, no. Why didn't anyone tell me? I'm going to have to fix that. I am so sorry. I guess I want March to last a little bit longer. Not sure why, because it's been a very busy month. I'm looking forward to April. Hmm. There we go. It's fixed. See, even teachers make mistakes. And did I get really upset about it? No, we don't get upset about little things. That's a little problem, not a big problem. I just fixed it. Will you help me count how many days? The last time we counted, we counted 27 days because it was Friday. So let's start up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 30 days so far in the month of March. Hey, let's count that by tens. You ready? 10, 20, 30. So how many bundles would that be? If one bundle has 10 straws, how many bundles would we have in our little chart for the number 30? You're right, three. We would have three bundles. Now we're gonna count by fives. Ready? Fives, it's a little tricky, but I know we can do it. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Wow, that was fun. Very good. So now we're gonna look at the days of the week. Can you see days of the week? Here we go. So today is, what day is today? Do you remember? Today is whoop, Monday. Today is Monday. It's the first day of the school week, right? So if today is Monday, who can tell me what was yesterday? I'm pointing right to it. 
It starts with s, and the vowel sound at the beginning is ah. You're right, Sunday. Sometimes Sundays and Saturdays get confusing when we're doing our days of the week, don't they? They're both weekend days. So yesterday was Sunday. So if today is Monday and yesterday was Sunday, what will tomorrow be? It starts with t, t, t. That's right, tomorrow will be Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Nice work, friends. So now we're gonna do the weather. I have to rub my eye, which I shouldn't, but it's itchy, so I'm rubbing it. We're gonna look outside and check the weather. Oh, I'm a little bit sad because it's gloomy outside. It's gloomy and cloudy. Is it gloomy and cloudy at your house? Hmm, I'm gonna try and go outside anyway because today would be a gym day. So I'm gonna pull up the weather. Wonder what the weather's gonna say for us. Oh my goodness, you're not even gonna believe it. Look at what the temperature is. This number keeps popping up for us, friends. 43. Today, the temperature in Plymouth is 43 and it does say cloudy. So I'm gonna scroll up and see what the wind is. Ooh, did you hear the wind in the storms last night? It's a little windy today too. Look at that. It says that the wind is 14 miles an hour. That's kind of a big wind. So it really feels like 34. It doesn't, ooh, that's funny too. It doesn't feel like 43. It feels like 34. Hmm. So many interesting numbers in science. So much interesting science too. All right, so I am gonna write 43 with my pen or marker, and I'm gonna color in a gray day. Sorry about that, friends. My crayons were across the table. I wonder if anyone noticed the special painting that I hung up. I hung up a special painting that I did over the weekend because one of the things I like to do when I'm home that helps me a lot is art. I think you guys know that. You know how much I love art. So I painted a new painting. So in the 40s, we color our squares on our calendar in green. I'm going to show you. So look at that, friends. Cloudy is now greater than sunny. The number of cloudy days is greater than the number of sunny days. And I'm going to slide up here. How many, this is a math question for you. How many days have we had our temperature be 43 degrees during morning meeting. How many days? Ooh, maybe I'll do a math challenge with the calendar. That would be fun with some questions. I'll post a picture of it. Very interesting. All right, I think that we've done everything. Have I forgotten anything, friends? I don't think so. So we'll be back tomorrow here, Facebook Live. I'm gonna download and then upload the video over to YouTube so friends who are not on Facebook can see our morning meeting. And um, I'll be back with a read aloud and a math challenge. And then this afternoon, we're gonna do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this week. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for our fun with friends, our virtual fun with friends. And we're gonna try it on Google um, Meet. So if anyone has any questions about that, please uh, send me a message, send me an email. I'm gonna hop over to my emails next. Oh my goodness, did everyone see Kaylin's message? She's gonna ride her bike with no training wheels for gym day. That's amazing. Good luck, Kaylin. I know you'll do awesome. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Maybe mom will take a picture and post it for us to see. 
Is anyone else doing anything gym-like today? I'm gonna try and take a walk. I wonder what you might do. So I hope you have a great morning. I hope you enjoy the read aloud later and get some writing in and some math and some movement. And um, I will see you later today. Thanks for coming. Bye guys.